check it off the bucket list. We're here. The Kentucky Derby at Churchill Downs. Welcome. Uh, today, welcome. Yeah, welcome. Today is, today is Wednesday. No special races or anything happening today, although there are races, but nothing. Does that mean a race about to start? Yes. So, we're in Kentucky. I'm going to become a millionaire with my $2 wager that I still have to learn how to place. Okay. <laughs> That's true. You do have to learn how to place a wager. I also have to learn how to place a wager. No idea what I'm doing when it comes to horse racing. But, bucket list item, we made it. We're at the Kentucky Derby here at Churchill Downs. How did we get here? We got ourselves some passes all weekend. This is going to allow us to do some filming all over the racetrack. Thanks to Twinspires.com. It's a racing website where it is completely legal for us Americans to go ahead and place some wagers on some horse races. And not only that, but we got a promo code that you guys can use. Promo code is NIMI. That's gonna give you guys $10 to use after you fill out your profile on the website. Go ahead, use that $10. Maybe you'll become a millionaire like Boosie will this weekend on the Kentucky Derby. Uh, you can probably use it for whatever race you wanna use it on. It doesn't have no, to be the Kentucky use Derby. use it but for the Kentucky Derby. Yeah, use it on the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> Anyway, all sorts of events going on this weekend. Today, as mentioned, just kind of hanging out the track and taking in the lay of the land, seeing where you can purchase a beverage, seeing where we can make our wagers, and uh, seeing all that there is to see here at the track. Tomorrow, there's some parties going on, a place called The Mansion. Uh, so we can go hang out over there with these passes and take that in. Friday, what's Friday? Friday is Oaks. Pre-gaming, ladies wear pink. That's about as much as I know for <laughs> <Okay>. now. Okay, <laughs> pre-gaming racing. Saturday is the big day. Uh, the actual Kentucky Derby. Uh, we'll be over here all day, taking it all in and uh, wagering our way to millions. So if you have any suggestions on which horse to pick, leave it in the comments below. And you can join me when I wager for the winning horse with your free $10. Okay, so that's going to happen on Saturday, the big race day. Uh, as for today, I'm going to go find a poker room. Guess what guys, I'm on a boat. We're at the casino, also known as the Horseshoe Southern Indiana, which I guess is in Southern Indiana. We're no longer in Kentucky. Uh, we drove across the border, took an Uber here. It was about 30 minutes outside of Louisville. And yeah, now we're on a boat. Uh, I am waiting, I'm on the wait list for a couple different games. There's a 1-2 PLO game going, and there's a 1-2 No Limit game going. And there's also a 1-2 Must Straddle No Limit interest list which hopefully that goes. I guess it's as described. Uh, apparently they don't get two five or five ten here very often, but they do get this one two variant, which I guess the winner of the previous hand must straddle the next hand for at least five dollars. So it's basically a one two five, uh, which if you think about it, that's eight dollars in the middle, which is bigger than a two five, which would have seven dollars in the middle pre-flop. So happy to play that if that gets up and running. Uh, there's one two no limit going, and then I guess the, I guess there's plenty of action in the PLO as well, um, which I think is one two PLO, possibly also a must straddle thing going on in that game too. Uh, gonna hang out here until they call my name, then we'll be in there. Okay, guys, just sat in the one two five mandatory straddle. So that's one two five and it is a $500 max buy-in. So we're in for 500. Good news is that I won about $40 playing video poker while I was waiting. So we are crushing off the bat. Let's see if we can win more money. All right guys, uh, let's take a look at a couple quick hands here in early trading that have gone down. Uh, in this first one, the straddle, the mandatory straddle, is in early position. And on her direct left, I'm looking down at Ace King. And I go ahead and raise it to $20. There's a call in the big blind, and the straddler calls. The flop comes down jack high with two hearts. And after the big blind checks it, the straddler leads out for $40. I just go ahead and fold. I decide to not take it uh, any further than this. Since I do have the player behind me as well. And after whipping the flop, just give it up. 
the big blind folds and the straddler shows pocket kings. So we somehow managed to only lose uh, $20 here in a $500 cap game, uh, 100 big blinds. So, uh, it's a decent chance I could have lost my entire stack there. Um, of course, I would have called a three bet for sure. So pretty happy to only lose $20 in that spot. In this next hand, there's one limp, and I look down at king, queen of hearts. Go ahead and raise it up to $25, and we see four callers. So a five-way flop here, which comes down ace, nine, eight with two hearts. It checks to me, and even though we have a pretty good flush draw here, I decided to check it. Just I don't plan on getting this one through uh, too often, ace high in a five-way pot. So I check it. The cutoff puts out about $50. The button calls. Pulls back over to me, definitely have to call here and see another card. The turn is an offsuit 10, I check it again. This time the cutoff checks and the button goes ahead and jams all in. No choice here but to fold and the cutoff makes the call. These guys are off to a river card which comes another eight, offsuit eight. We would have missed all our draws. The cutoff shows ace king and the player on the button shows ace nine for a flop two pair. Uh, so definitely would not have got the job done there. Uh, like my decision to just go ahead and check it, play it a little bit passively in a multi-way pot, ace high flop. One more fun one real quick here. I open up queen 10 of clubs from early position for $20 and only the button calls. The flop comes queen high with two diamonds. You do have top pair, but it's one of the worst top pairs that I'll open with from early position, if not the worst, the very worst. So I go ahead and check it over to her and she puts out a bet of $25. She's only got maybe $55 left in her short stack. So just gonna go ahead and check jam it all in. She goes ahead and calls. We are off to see two more cards. Turn is a good one, it's an offsuit 10. River brings a third diamond, but it doesn't matter. It turns out we suck out versus the king queen, and uh, there was no real situation where all the money was not gonna get in here, of course, versus a player who only has $55. But we get there, and uh, we win a pot. Down a little bit, fun game though. Really digging the mandatory straddle. Pretty cool how the straddle moves around to different positions, so really adds a little bit of variety to, uh, to a regular two blind game. So, all right, gonna get back in there, gonna get back to firing, see if we can get unstuck here. All right guys, uh, a couple more hands here to shoot through and uh, a couple of them involving the best hand ever created, pocket aces. In this first one, I straddle in early position. The button limps and the big blind checks it. Again, looking down at pocket aces, we go ahead and raise it up to $30. Both the button and the big blind go ahead and make the call. So three ways to, way too favorable of a flop for these pocket aces. Ace, king, three, rainbow. Big blind checks, I decided to check it and the button checks back. Turn is an offsuit eight, so it doesn't even add a flush draw on board. The big blind checks it as well. I bet $25, measly 25, and can't find a single call. So uh, definitely a reasonable result, although not the result of dreams when you flop top set. Uh, but hey, at least aces didn't get cracked. That being said, on to the next hand in which we have pocket aces. Following a raise from under the gun to $15. We're on the button, we go ahead and make it $50 and the initial raiser calls. The flop comes down king eight four with two spades and he leaves right into us for $50. I'm just gonna flat call here, try and keep his range, his full range in there. Don't wanna push him off a hand like king jack, king 10, king queen, hands that he might make a probing type bet with. Just gonna flat call here. We see a third spade on the turn. He leads into us again for $100 this time. Now I think there's even less reason to raise as we could be over repping our hand on a three flush board. Obviously never gonna fold though. I make the call and we're off to a river card which comes a blank. He sticks the rest of his money in there. It's about $250. Don't have any choice here. Uh, we wanna get to showdown. We have pocket aces, under repped, flat call all the way down. Toss in the final call and we get shown ace three of spades. So a little bit of run bad there. Have him obviously super crushed pre-flop. Uh, happy to find a, a three bet pot, a three bet situation there um, versus ace rag. He does have some equity. He can make a wheel, he can make a flush. This time it's the ladder and uh, 
pocket ace is not gonna work out for us this time. They go down in flames. By the way, uh, that last hand and this next hand, couldn't film it, couldn't record it due to reasons out beyond my control. But uh, in this next hand, we're playing shorthanded and I look down at pocket queens from yeah. late position. I go ahead and make it $20 to go. Only the small blind calls. So heads up to a flop which comes jack high. Pretty good flop for pocket queens with no over cards. He checks, I bet $30, I believe. And he goes ahead and flat calls. Turn shouldn't change anything. Offsuit card. Checks it over to me again. I'm gonna size up here up to $85 this time. And my opponent pretty quickly check raises to $300. A little concerning, I don't have the queen of diamonds in my hand, so there are some hands available where he could be check raising uh, as a semi bluff. On the flip side of that, this game has been playing quite passive. I haven't seen hardly any bluffing going on, much less, uh, you know, sizable $300 bets, $300 bet bluffs. I think about it for a long time, go well into the tank, and eventually I decide to fold it Fold the pocket queens, fold the overcard with no diamond in my hand. I offer him a price to show his hand, and uh, he says $10. I counter with $5. He recounters with $7. I say no deal, and uh, he accepts the $5, and he shows me pocket jacks. So we escape disaster there. Uh, he flop top set, played it passively pre flop, hand on the flop, goes for the value on the turn, but doesn't get the full amount, thankfully. Not running too good thus far. Uh, running into some tough hands, some big hands going down in flames. This one as well, pocket queens, no good on a jack high board. One more interesting hand here after the under the gun puts in the straddle. There's an early position limper and I look down at 10 nine of hearts and I go ahead and raise it to $30. Only the limper calls and the flop comes down a pretty sweet looking jack eight four with two hearts. Open ender plus flush draw for us. Checks it over to me, I go ahead and bet $35 with all of this equity. My opponent, again, doesn't have too much money in his stack. He goes ahead and jams $140 into the middle. I have a snap call here, and it turns out we are in a great situation up against 6-7 of hearts. So pretty cooler board there. Um, the board runs out safe for us. 10 high ends up being the winner here uh, in an all-in situation. Super cooler board, connects very hard uh, for both of us. But finally, we drag in a pot, and uh, that's gonna be the final hand of significance in this session. We grind it out, stick it out. We won a bunch of small pots at the end, nothing major. We get into this game for $1,100. Cash out of this game for $1,202. So we win $102. Plus, I might add, the $40 from video poker. $142 of sweet, sweet profit here at the Horseshoe in Southern Indiana. Okay guys, uh, I am going to get back to the hotel room, edit some of this footage, and then tomorrow we've got a party back over at the Kentucky Derby racetrack, AKA Churchill Downs, at the mansion. I'm not exactly sure what the mansion is, but it sounds really cool. We're gonna jump there straight to the mansion now. You're not gonna believe this. First ever horse wager is a winner. 35. Horse number six came in as a 35 to one shot. Bet $10, you get paid $360. And uh, full disclosure, we bet $10 on two other horses. Who so, cares? Whatever. Right, who cares? You're right, who cares? <laughs> 
up what three hundred and forty dollars. Yeah, three hundred forty dollars. Good day at the races. Uh, really fun night slash afternoon here at uh, the mansion. Churchill Downs, thanks to Inspires. Yeah, thanks so much to Inspires. Uh, obviously, they sponsored this video, but um, hopefully, you guys use that promo code and let us know who you guys are firing on uh, for the actual Kentucky Derby on Saturday. Obviously, just follow me because... Follow Goosey's Instagram for all the pics <laughs> in order to get rich quick. Um, but yeah, the poker the poker was okay. We won $100. Um, obviously, it's another one of those situations where you can't really force out a win when your playing time is a little bit limited. Would love to come out here and book a sweet win in the poker and then just, you know, uh, enjoy crush the horse racing. crush horse racing, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Um, things don't really work out that way in poker. You just have to sort of let things happen as they do. I ended up staying there a little bit later than I expected to. Um, trying to cram a lot into this weekend between horse racing, editing, poker, drone flying, all the above. But uh, pretty cool regardless. Um, happy to book that $100 win. Happy Boosie is picking up, happy Boosie's picking up the slack and uh, carrying the team here uh, with the horse racing wagering professional action <laughs> going on over here. All right, uh, we're gonna be hanging out here through the rest of the weekend. More vlogs to come, more Instagram stories, all the above. Anything else? Road to millions. Road <laughs> to millions starts here.